At six, a desperate need for new employees in the trucking industry. Thousands of truck drivers are retiring, and there aren't enough people coming in to take their place. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach explains how this impacts each and every one of us. The American trucking industry estimates there's a shortage of 40,000 truck drivers across the country right now. That means there's more truck drivers retiring than there are new ones coming into these seats to fill their roles. A lot of us are getting real old. <laughs> so. Bill Crow at Overland Park Base YRC says recruiting young drivers can be a struggle. The uh, millennials don't come out of high school saying, I want to be a truck driver. We're just not a real sexy business, if you will. Every year, 480 drivers at YRC alone put their careers in park. At the same time, the recovering economy is driving up the demand for more goods to be trucked across country. For our company, if we don't have enough drivers, it will slow freight down because we are in constant motion uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We shut down for Christmas, that's it. And those slowdowns could force all of us to pay more at the store and wait longer for shipments. Nationwide, it's even a, a greater crisis. It, we could look at having uh, a shortfall of a couple hundred thousand drivers in the next five years. That will definitely slow down the supply chains of America. If you're looking to break into the industry, now's the time. Because freight companies are so desperate to hire, they're bumping up pay to an average $50,000 a year. YRC alone is looking to hire 1,000 people this year, and you don't even need experience. In fact, they started having on-site job training just to get people through those doors and sending in applications. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck for Doing Action News.